Israeli attacks have injured more than 50,000 Palestinians in the Gaza Strip since the 7th of October. Thousands are in desperate need of treatment and medication. But hospitals are overwhelmed and pharmacies are running low on medicine supplies. If the bombardment does not kill us, we will die from the absence of medicine. For three days, I have not been able to find the medicine doctors had prescribed for my son. His body is getting bloated as he has not been able to urinate for days. The health sector in Gaza is paralyzed. More than two-thirds of hospitals and primary health care clinics have shut down. And over 300 health workers have been killed in indiscriminate Israeli attacks. Doesn't say they were tortured or starved after being arrested and interrogated. Many Palestinians believe they are forgotten by the outside world and are facing a slow death as a people. A collective death sentence, while the whole world is preaching on human rights and even animal rights, the Palestinians in Gaza are left without the most basic of treatment of our sick or our children. Palestinian authorities say nearly 9,000 children are injured. Israel's war on Gaza has severely restricted humanitarian aid, including medicine, from entering Gaza. For more than two months, we have not received a single pill or bottle of syrup medication, let alone painkillers or treatment for chronic diseases. These used to come through the border crossings, which have been closed since the beginning of the war. Children's medications for fever, seizures and even antibiotics and painkillers are totally absent. The Gaza Strip has been under Israeli siege for more than 17 years, and it was already hard to find medication. Palestinians say now the war is making that far worse. Rasul Sardar, Al Jazeera.